What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, welcome back to El Nino Trail Running. Today we got a pretty crazy video. Um, it's gonna be about the Asics Super Shoes. Um, I know this is a video that's a little bit different from what I usually would like to do, because it's a video about roads. Um, but here we go anyway. Uh, so our story starts in London, England, at the London Marathon. And so here we're gonna play a clip as you can see, this is Sarah Hall, who is running in a prototype race shoe from ASICS, which we don't really know anything about yet because it is completely unreleased. So after the race, it came out that she had, quote, one-off discretionary approval to wear them for this race, taking into account the disruption caused by the coronavirus pandemic to athletes and shoe companies this year, unquote, uh, from World Athletics. And so this is really an issue because it's in direct contradiction with the actual World Athletics rules, which state that, quote, any type of shoe must be reasonably available to all in the spirit of the universality of athletics. Obviously, this shoe is not the Meta Racer, as you can see here, because it is, it has a much thicker sole, a much higher stack, and who knows what's in there. Could be two carbon fiber plates, we really don't know. Um, allegedly, they were approved. People were joking that they were a mixture of the Atreyu, um, outsole and midsole and the meta racer upper here's a better look at them um, and so really this is an issue because it brings into the spotlight the conflict of interest between the shoe companies and world athletics now ASICS is a world athletics sponsor meaning that they give a lot of money to world athletics and so could that have played a factor in the decision of World Athletics to allow this one-off discretionary approval because of the coronavirus pandemic? I don't know, but could be. Now, this really also brings up the issue that a lot of the athletes who are non-Nike athletes, ASICS athletes, Adidas athletes, Under Armour athletes were complaining when Nike was having uh, their runners run in unreleased shoes, but now that it the shoe is on the other foot, uh, I don't see the same amount of people who are outraged at the unreleased shoes or the not very hard to get shoes. Um, and so obviously there needs to be some type of solution to this. Um, my solution would be to try to make them as truly available as possible. I would make sure that there is a specific number available for each shoe proportional to the size of the brand and the demand for the shoe. And I would make sure that they are all under the a retail price of $300, essentially making them accessible to um, more people than if a company like Nike were to just release them for a thousand or two thousand, just to say that they're available, quote unquote. Obviously, they still would not be accessible for a vast majority of people at $300, but I think it would still be an improvement over the system that we have today. Also, I would only allow customization of colors, and I wouldn't want any type of customization of the shape or materials of the shoe that could give an advantage. Now, obviously, this is not a perfect solution, and I don't know that there is a perfect solution out there, but um, really what we need to do is prevent this kind of stuff from happening where you have an athlete who is allowed, essentially by World Athletics, just given the green light to go ahead and run in a rule-breaking shoe just because... Uh, of the coronavirus pandemic, which I don't see how that is any type of excuse for making the playing field even more uneven than it already is. Okay, so, I mean, that's pretty much the end of this video. Obviously, I don't really want to come off as I, like I'm bashing Sarah Hall. I'm actually like a big fan of hers, and it, whether or not she ran in shoes that were 8% faster than Vaporflies. I mean, she still ran an amazing race. Um, and my criticism really is with the World Athletics System that allowed her to do this legally. Um, and that's really all I have to say. If you have any opinions on this, please let me know down in the comments. Uh, just if you have any questions or comments or maybe you like this video it's very different from some of my other videos but please do check out my other videos uh if you like this maybe consider subscribing so i can make more of these um thanks for watching